Hi guys, pop pop boat time again. Just doing a flotation test here. I've got a bit of copper pipe. I think that's quarter inch diameter or something like that. And I'm just checking that it floats with that bit of foam. That is going to be the boiler and the pipe all in one piece. Just a single piece of copper pipe. So we're going to heat this end with some water in it and it should work the same way as an ordinary pop pop boiler. It will heat up, boil up the water that's in there, push it down the pipe. When it gets down here it will get cold, it will condense again and go back up again. Did I say water? I meant steam didn't I? Boils the water, it turns to steam that expands, increases the pressure, pushes the water down the pipe, but as soon as the steam goes far enough to get cold again, it condenses and contracts, creating a partial vacuum, so the water gets pushed back up the pipe. I was reading an online discussion, an old one, seven years old, between Daryl Foster and somebody else whose name I've forgotten. Uh, I'll put a link to the video, uh, not a video, it was an Instructables I think. I'll put a link in the video description anyway. Although you have to dig a bit to find a discussion, but they were talking about single pipe boilers. So I thought I'd give it a go. We'll find out if it works. So there's the boat. A bit of blue tack at the front there to hold it in place while I put some hot glue on the bottom just to keep the pipe in position at the right angle so we can put a boiler underneath it. don't know what we're going to need to heat it, whether we'll need a tea light or whether we need to go for one of those fire lighters that I was using the other day. But we'll fill it with water and see what happens. So there we are in the water. The next problem will be filling the pipe because you can't just pour water in there because it's a sealed system. So I've rigged up that bit of red insulation off some copper wire onto there and then onto there. So I can suck water into here and then push that all the way up in there as far as we can get it which is probably around to about there somewhere and if I turn it upside down should be filling it with water. The only way we're going to find out is try boiling it, I think. I suppose the other thing I could have done was the reverse of that. Shoved that all the way up there and sucked. I hate using the word suck because it's not suck, it's negative pressure and all the rest of it. But if I now suck that instead, that should suck water in there, shouldn't it?
Unless I pull that out. Yeah. So there should be water in there. I need to put some weight on the back to keep the pipe in the water. I'll try a couple of ordinary tea lights. Add a bit of heat myself, couldn't I? All we want to see is if it goes forwards. I think we're going to need at least three tea lights. Whoa! Do you see that? We actually had the right effect. Hold it there somewhere. <laughs> we got a pot pot boat just out of a single pipe oh dear that means I've got to go and put some water in the bath doesn't it oh I love that I don't think I'll bother to put water in the bath at the moment that's good enough for now. We can see it works. So, single pipe, no boiler as such, although that is the boiler. That's quite violent. Oh yeah. Wow. That's a good old smoky candle I'm using again. I think if we used those fire lighters I was trying the other day, we might be going a bit faster, but that was so smoky I can't do that indoors. That candle's doing pretty well on a smoke front.
Yeah, that'll do. So it works. A single pipe and no, no boiler as such, no separate boiler. But that's quite a thick bit of copper there, so I think an extra tea light or that fire lighter that I was using would probably do it. But I have to do that outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.